Oh my god! We won! Let's go! Throughout the years, many players have won in FNCS, but nobody has gone from winning in one region to moving to a completely different region and then winning again. This is the story of Muzz, Fortnite's only multi-regional FNCS winner. But before we get to that, we need to start at the very beginning, where everything started. Muzz's first tournament would be the Blackheart Cup back in March of 2019. And like many players back then, he was just playing for fun and enjoying the game. But not soon after his first tournament, he would make his first earnings in no other than the World Cup qualifiers. He would earn in the first and fifth weeks of solos, placing 63rd and 67th respectively, cashing in $400. Now he would continue to play tournaments from then, but he wouldn't see earnings again until November of 2019, where he would place third in a solo cash cup, getting him $1,500. Now during this time was also the very first FNCS which was squads, and during it he didn't do too well making no money. However, Muzz started popping off in solos, getting many good placements, so now going into chapter 2 season 2 duo FNCS, he had around $3,500 in earnings. But this season would be where things would start to turn around and he could see a future in competitive Fortnite. He would end up duoing with another popular OCE pro, Speedy. And here is where he would make his first ever FNCS Grand Finals appearance. Only placing 29th, you gotta start somewhere, and with Moses' insane fighting skills, he knew that he can make it. And not long after Duo FNCS, the solo invitationals was announced, and if you've been paying attention, most of Moses' earnings already were from solos. So now he had a chance to prove himself. Not only to the Fortnite community, but to his parents as well. Then parents, like, at, they're not really that supportive. Yeah, no, at the start, I mean, my dad just like, you know, the classic um, Middle Eastern parents want to doctor, lawyer, fucking engineer. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> like most parents, they think that their kids are wasting their time on video games. And in fact, Muzz's parents wouldn't even let him upgrade his PC, even though at this point he made thousands of dollars off the game already. So if he could just have one big performance here and place well, he could prove his parents wrong and show them that there is a career in gaming. And that's exactly what he did, but at the same time, this heartbreaking moment ended up happening. In the very last game of the Solos Invitationals, Muzz was in first place, but he caught word of some kids talking about landing on him and griefing him so he couldn't win. And in fear of that, he decided to switch drops, and this is what ended up happening. I just had three people fight me, bro. Did you die? Yes. I died as well, bro. I just got pushed by this guy and I got pushed by another guy. I'm so done. First guy field fights me and then I bat away and I get Oh my god. Even though he didn't end up winning and missing out on 15 grand, he still earned himself 7k, proving to his parents that he could make this a career. So now that we kind of know how his career began, let's speed through the next couple of seasons. Chapter 2 Season 3 in Solo Grands, he would end up placing 8th place. Season 4 Trios with Radius and Speedy, he got 10th. So now we're at Season 5, where Muzz and Speedy decided to drop Radius and pick up Looter. And this would be the start of one of OCE's greatest trios. On my wall here, on, on my wall. Dead. Nice. Dead. Oh, I'm so good. Uh, on, me, on, on me, on me. Dead, dead, dead. dead. Get, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Nice. In my box, in my box, in my box. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. For you, hold you. Come too soon. Stay alive. Nice. nice. Let's go, boys. Yes, yes, yes. 30, 60. Knock one, knock one, knock one. Knock one. Go, I got two kills, okay. got two kills. Nice, nice. let's go. Let's go, let's go boys. Let's go. And this season would be where he would win his first FNCS Grand Finals. And they wouldn't stop there. After dominating for the rest of the season and into the next one, they would end up winning again. On me, on me. Dead, 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 dead. Got it, got it, got it. Crack. Fiends. Didn't work. No, no, no. Getting free at it. Let's go. Good. We are so Let's go. On me, on me. Got the ball. Dead. Shit, one HP, one HP, one HP, one HP. Dead, 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 dead. Eddie. Wait, two solos. Go down. Dead, 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 go down, go down. Fiends. I'm high, I'm high, I'm high, I'm high. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Dead. Nice. Go through. Let's go! Let's go! The traps! So after winning two FNCSs on OCE, he got the offer to move to NA to compete. So now he had to make the biggest decision of his life. I had to put I had to put some thought into it honestly, because like I had to the the choice was like you know chase this as a career or um stay at school finish school. 
with my friends that I've been friends with for like the last five years. So it was either that or stay at school with friends, you know, just create good memories and shit. So now after winning 55 grand on OCE, Muzz, Looter, and Speedy all moved to NA East from OCE to show that OCE has what it takes to hang with the big dogs. So how did the first season of being on NA East go for them? Well, to put it lightly, it was very disappointing. In the trio cash cups, they weren't doing too hot, only placing in two cash cups before FNCS starting. But as usual, Muzz was still placing in pretty much every solo cash cup on multiple different regions. But then came FNCS, their chance to qualify for the grand finals and prove to themselves and everybody else that they had what it took. They did decent in the qualifiers, making it all the way to semifinals, and now in the semis, they only needed a top six in order to qual. And unfortunately, they were only able to finish top 18 in their first FNCS on NA. So now going into chapter 2 season 8, this was his last chance to prove himself. And if he couldn't do this, he would have to move back to OCE as a failure. But then a miracle happened. As a troll tweet, Muzz said that he was looking for a new trio. And that's when the best controller player slid into his DMs, Miro. He said that him and Booga might be down the play, but they weren't too sure yet. He responded back to him saying that he was down the play. And interestingly enough, this is how they made their decision. I wanted to trade with him, obviously, and he's, he said, give me till tomorrow night, so 24 hours to come back with an answer. No, no, he ends up coming back two, three hours later saying, all right, we're down to Trier. And I said, what made you decide so quick? And he said, we watched your VODs from Twitch. If I wasn't streaming, there's a high chance I wouldn't be with Mira and Booga. So now being picked up by some of the greatest Fortnite players the world has ever seen, it just had to prove that picking up Muzz right before FNCS starting wasn't a mistake and that they had what it took. And that's exactly what they did. I think we won! No way, 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 I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking, chill, 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 Bro, Jamper got 30 points! Us, Braddy died early, they didn't beat us, us! Bro, if Jamper got 30 points- Oh my god, we won! No way! Let's go! I swear to god, hold on, hold on, I swear to god, we won! Let's fucking go! Screenshot, bro! Oh my god! Holy fuck! You got it? You got it? Let's go! Let's go! So now after winning FNCS, they were on top of the world, and with Grand Royale right around the corner, they were some of the favorites to win, until Muzz was dropped. With the executive decision by Booga, he decided to drop Muzz for Dukes, which left Muzz without a team for the biggest tournament Fortnite has seen in years. Luckily, Muzz was able to play with Joji and Rokane, but they only ended up placing 20th. But you can't really be mad at Booga since they did end up winning Grand Royale as well, but I'm pretty confident if they sticked with Muzz, they still would have won anyway. So after winning Grands, Muzz now decided to stay in NA. But you might be wondering, how is he doing nowadays? Now going into Chapter 3 FNCS, he placed 8th, 33rd, and 10th and an Invitational is not doing the best, placing 47th. But now in Chapter 4, he's still making Grands, placing 10th and 19th. But even from his beginning days, getting his first earnings in solos, Muzz is still known as one of the best solo players ever, dominating in every solo event. Even though Muzz has hit a rough patch recently with his Grands placement, he still definitely has the skill to win another one. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, let me know who else you want to see a story on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.